Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at Dimmit Chevrolet in sunny Clearwater, Florida, because guess what? We have something very special. This is a 2020 Camaro RS 1LE. So let's talk a little bit about the Chevy Camaro. Chevrolet Camaro has been around since 1967. So many different versions of it from high horsepower, mid horsepower, ones that were meant for the drag strip, ones that were meant for the road course. What's interesting with this one is that when you hear the letters and numbers 1LE, that actually means a lot. Back in the 1980s, in the SCCA, which is the Sports Car Club of America, there was a class called the Showroom Stock Class. Racers that were racing Camaros wanted a little bit more suspension, brakes, things like that, but they could not do it because it had to be showroom stock. General Motors decided to help out those road racers and come out with the 1LE option. So when you check that option off, it doesn't give you more horsepower, but where it's gonna give you performance is in handling, braking, and definitely in looks. This color was all new for 2019. It's called Shock. And what's interesting is that when Chevrolet had a special Camaro SS at SEMA last year for 2018, they showed off this color and it was just gonna be just a show color. So many people loved it that they said, we want it, and General Motors decided to add it to the color palette. It's just called Shock. So let's go ahead and dive into this Camaro RS 1LE. So when you hear RS, automatically that should tell you that it is a V6. Now the 1LE option you could get for the SS, the ZL1, the RS, and also the inline four turbocharged engine but this is the V6. So right off the bat, that bright yellow called shock. I love the way that the color just fits the body lines of this car perfect. You have your functional air curtains on the side. Everything is flat black, a little bit of gloss black for extra cooling, a large. Now part of the 1LE option, it's gonna be braking, it's gonna be handling, but it's also gonna be some extra body pieces for downforce. This front spoiler, this lip spoiler here, that's gonna give us more downforce going to help scoop air into the radiators of this V6. Now, as we come across the front, there's our RS badge, just in silver. You have your black bow tie here. Everything else is flat black, but you can see how far this extends to give us downforce. That's going to give you a better feeling off the front of the car and get air into the radiator. Speaking of the radiator, the radiator is larger on the 1LE. It's additional radiator volume. It's also an engine oil cooler and a diff cooler out back. As we go up onto the hood, this is special for the 1LE. So flat black, a lot of it, flat black wrapped hood. I think it works perfect with the shock color and the rest of it. As we come around the bend, here's where we're gonna see some changes. These are 1LE specific wheels. So this is a 20 inch wheel, nice design. I like the flat black. It's a 245 on the width, 40 series sidewall. You have larger brake rotors and larger calipers, Brembo calipers on the 1LE. Other than that, you're gonna have different dampers to give you totally different compression and rebound and also thicker anti-sway bars. The anti-sway bars are gonna cancel out that body roll from this V6 Camaro. We go down in the fenders. As we come down, there's that iconic Camaro badge, the red, white, and blue, and then the rest of this Camaro is pretty much spot on to any other 2020 Camaro. You do have the flat black on the mirrors to go with the hood and with the tires. And as we come back, that rear quarter window, really that concept car side window, very, very short side window has always been a complaint of many people. I like the way the rear fender kind of flares out. Out back, you have 275. So the rear tires are actually a little bit wider than the front ones. What that does is, is that by having a little bit smaller width on the tire, it's gonna quicken up the steering up front. Having the wider tire out back, it's gonna give us the traction that we need. Coming out back, this is another 1LE specific. So this is gonna give us downforce. It's a trunk lid spoiler. I like the kick up. I like the way it's flat black. It makes a nice cohesive package. We drop down, we have our RS badge. I am gonna zonk that because I feel like they just threw it at the back bumper here. So I wish they would have put it somewhere a little bit nicer. This does have the cleared out taillights. I personally like the bright red ones and get rid of these horizontal lines. Other than that, they're not too bad. Dual mode exhaust. So this has the exhaust where you can make it louder or quieter and a very, very simple flat black diffuser. 
I'm going to zonk it. I wish they would go a little bit more aggressive looking on the diffuser. But other than that, with this color, very sharp. Let's pop the hood and see what we're working with. All right, guys, we got the hood popped on the RS1LE. You'll notice that it comes with hood struts, which is a nice touch, something that Mustangs don't have. What you're looking at underneath that boring plastic engine cover, which I am going to zonk that, is a 335 horsepower V6, 284 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 in about 5.1 seconds, quarter mile in 13.7, a top speed of 151 miles an hour. The car weighs about 3,500 pounds. And like I said, this car is about handling performance. So when you compare this to the SS, you're gonna have lighter weight off the front end because this is a V6. Also, you have that limited slip differential. That's part of the 1LE option, the larger radiator, the engine oil cooler, the diff cooler, and then the additional bodywork and brakes and wheels. It's a lot of package for not a ton of money, but why don't we go ahead, fire up this V6, and see what it sounds like. Right, guys we're inside the 2020 camaro 1le that rs 1le i know you're probably wondering well joe this looks like a fun car that color is just eye popping how much is it msrp is around thirty-four thousand dollars. if you're wondering well how much is the 1le package it is four thousand five hundred dollars but i think you get a lot for the money i really do i believe that i wish they would put a special 1le badge somewhere on this car that's the one thing if you want a trim package where you could brag by a badge you're not going to have that with this one so you're going to have to let everybody know every time you pull up somewhere but let's go to the door panels and see what we got i like what's going on with chevrolet's door panels in the camaro it's a great design it's got the um, flat black uh, leather on the armrest i like the contrast stitching you have that silver trim that's like c-shaped you have extra soft material at the top of the door panel and then this one comes with the bose sound system now as we transition from the door to the dash you have that same flat black leather. I love the contrast stitching. Eight inch infotainment system screen, obviously touch screen, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, Wi-Fi equipped and everything else. You got an ant in here, Ant-Man's in here. Get out of here, Ant-Man. Very slim and trim AC controls, no heated or ventilated seats. So I don't know how you feel about that. I am gonna zonk them not being there. You do have the start stop button, which I can't stand the look of that button. It's probably one of the ugliest start stop buttons in the history of the car i do like though the ac controls i like the way you twist the trim rings for the blower speed and for the temperature it is not dual climate so one climate temp and that's it this has that six speed transmission pretty short throws not as short as say the tremec and the zl1 but still very nice engagement it does have an alcantara shift knob and shifter boot with the contrast stitching you have your mode selector electric e-brake i don't like the placement i think this is the dumbest placement for a 12 volt because if you're running a radar detector or a dash cam you got to have a wire here two cup holders here's your simple uh chevy uh, key fob i wish they would do something different with these these are just looking a little bland little soft leather on the armrest with the stitch work you open it up you got enough room in there for a bag of boiled peanuts and then the seats are cloth and there's nothing going on special with them very very basic seat out of the base Camaro I wish that they had a little bit more bolstering especially since this is a track specific car so I think that's one area that they cut some costs that maybe they shouldn't have but why don't you get on over to the business end I'll show you behind the wheel of this Camaro RS 1LE all right guys business end you do have electric assist for the driver which is nice no lower lumbar so your lower back is going to be maybe not the most comfortable of the rest of your body you do get an alcantara wrap steering wheel missed opportunity here i'm zonking this blank area i would like to see an rs or a 1le badge here but the same camaro steering wheel as in all the other camaros very simplistic gauges you have your tachometer you have your uh, analog fuel gauge and coolant gauge and speedometer you have that digital display where you could go through a plethora of information and of course you also have your different drive modes track sport and tour back seat you're not going to get me back there i've already done that in other camaro reviews and i'm still regretting it 
my legs, I've been having to get them specially sports massage on a weekly basis, but they are tight and anybody taller than two feet is not gonna be enjoying life back there. Let's go ahead though, check out the trunk and see how usable this RS is. All right guys, time to check out what kind of trunk space we have. Now one place where the Camaro loses to the Mustang is the amount of room. The opening is very tight. Once you're able to squeeze it through though, there is some space. So if you have something like a big teddy bear, like one of those six feet tall teddy bears, you could squish it down in this opening and get it within the trunk. But other than that, anything that is made out of wood, steel, anything hard, you're either gonna have to break it to get it in or hopefully it's small enough to get in. But while we get to the best part, this Camaro isn't about the trunk. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take it for a spin. All right, guys, we're leaving Dimmit Chevy. We are in the 2020 Camaro RS 1LE. I really do like the clutch modulation, and I love the shifter and the sound of that V6. If you don't think a V6 can sound throaty and meaty, you gotta drive one of these with the dual mode exhaust. It freaking sounds really, really cool, and the color is just getting everybody's attention. There was even a bird that flew by and hit the side of a building because it was looking at the Camaro. So very, very fascinating with the color and just overall feel. I love the weight to the steering. And because it's a naturally aspirated engine, you have that nice linear power curve, which is really great as it builds and then just keeps going as you go through the rev range. If you're speaking about, well, what is the red line in this? It red lines at 7,000 RPM. Very nicely done for a Camaro, for sure. V6. All right, guys, that 3.6 liter V6, like I said, sounding good. Very, very nice with the sound and the power. Let me go ahead and downshift in a second. We're going to do a slow roll here on throttle. Sounds good, man. I'm telling you right now, for a V6, really sounds great. On those Brembos, downshift, very nicely done. Second, feeling good. Wow. You really can feel the benefit of that 1LE package. Nice, the sound is awesome. Here we go into this right hand bend. Feels good, those thicker anti-sway bars are doing the business on throttle. Really, really nice. And the calipers just grabbing down on those rotors you're able to shed speed very, very quickly. And what's great about the V6, like I said, it's lighter automatically right off the bat than the V8, of course. And uh, with the sound, I really think that, hey man, if, if you're not hung up on a V8, the RS is, is for 34,000. With the 1LE package, it's a lot of performance um, for not the largest amount of money. The best part about the V6 is that you're gonna get better MPG. So you're looking around 17 miles a gallon in the city and 27 on the highway. Clutch modulation is so easy and the car just purrs like a pussycat, even in tight traffic situations. The bottom line is, is that of course you're gonna have a little bit harder time with visibility, but hey, if you don't care about that, then I won't care about it. Uh, and you could really enjoy this Camaro RS 1LE. It's a lot of letters, it's a mouthful to say, but I'm telling you, at the end of the day, it's worth checking that stuff off on the uh, order sheet because you're gonna enjoy the performance. All right guys, acceleration again, second gear, in the third, nice. On those brakes, those Brembo calipers, really nice, tip it in. Great feedback on throttle. We're rocking and rolling here, here we go. Nice. On the brakes, really just, it balances its, its weight so well. Like the weight transfer from left to right, it just feels really, really good and overall has just such great feedback. I really think that the engineers did an amazing job with how this car drives. All that race experience, they brought it and tenfold you get to enjoy it every single day the alcantara wrap steering wheel it feels really good hey who cares if it's not going to wear very well um, but it feels great and overall just very very happy with the performance of this actually surprising the performance of this rs 1le for sure all right guys one last time into this right hand bend here feeling good on throttle really nice 
car is so, you're so connected to it. That's what I love about these types of cars. Yeah, you're not getting extra horsepower, and I'm sure everybody, or not everybody, but a lot of people are gonna be zonking it because it doesn't have extra horsepower over a standard RS, but what you're getting performance-wise from the brakes, from the exhaust, from the suspension bits, and then of course you'll be able to do track days in this. You know, I think a lot of people forget that when you go and you do track days and you're doing lap after lap after lap, you want that larger radiator. You want the engine oil cooler and the diff cooler because when that stuff overheats, the car goes into limp mode on other cars. With this, you can stay out there and do that whole 20, 30 minute session and you're gonna feel great and the car's gonna respond great. But hopefully this gave you a good overall feel even driving on this highway here, the car does not beat you up. So don't think just because, hey, it's got race suspension or suspension that's been crafted from a, a race environment, it's gotta be hard on my body, no. The seats are comfortable. I wish they had a little bit more bolstering. Uh, that's gonna be a zonk. But other than that, uh, the car is a ton of fun to drive. Just gotta not care about the visibility, I guess. But we're gonna go ahead and wrap this one up, get back to Dimmit Chevrolet, so I'll see you in a split second. All right, guys, it's been a wonderful time with this 2020 Camaro RS 1LE. I definitely gotta thank Rael, Eli, and the rest of the crew here at Dimmit Chevrolet for getting me access to this car in shock color. It really left me in shock. But if these are the types of cars that you wanna see on Ready's Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new to the channel and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Ready's Rise family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just for you on the channel, click the link in the description, get yourself some Ready's Rise merch. Gotta give it up to Big Guns McGee. He's, di he's digging this Camaro. He wish it had a V8 though. I wish it had a supercharged V8. But thank you, Tom, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.